Uh, hello, colleagues, investors, and uh, everyone watching on the live stream in Hokkaido, Japan. Uh, my name is Chase Stewart, and I'm the new head of operations here at Blue Apron. Uh, in, the, in, uh, in the presentation I prepared for today, uh, we're just going to touch on last quarter's numbers and the overall future of Blue Apron. Also, it being Halloween, I decided to get dressed up for work thinking everyone else would, and I could not have been more wrong. <laughs> I have nothing to get changed into. <laughs> so why don't we start this presentation? Uh, so, uh, this last quarter was uh, one of our strongest, and that's uh, saying a lot going into the busy holiday months. <laughs> This would be a very good time, I think, to hit on the uh, Blue Apron mission. Uh, guys, we're building a better food system, uh, we're developing a higher quality standard and ingredients, and we're reducing uh, food waste to create better value. With these missions alone, we're already way ahead of the competition. Uh, we're up 5% total orders, and that's big, and I think we owe that all to the uh, Pesto Pizza. The, thank you so much. Uh, that Pesto Pizza rollout really was great. Thank you so much to Raggedy Ann. Uh, by Raggedy Ann, I mean Caitlin. Uh, she said that she was gonna get dressed up like Raggedy Ann today. I now know, not for work. Most likely at home with her children this evening. Uh, and some other uh, very big news coming up. Uh, guys, we're now shipping to Vancouver. <laughs> for us here at Blue Apron because we're not shipping internationally because today Vancouver, what is it? Tomorrow to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Keep on moving forward. Uh, uh, something, uh, something things to work on guys. Spoiled milk. Uh, we sent out a pallet of spoiled milk, so I told the guys up at the warehouse to really focus on not doing that, you know what I mean? Uh, we want to keep people healthy. Uh, but on the flip side, uh, our apples are 100% razor free. Uh, that's going off of, you know, you should always check your children's fruit after trick-or-treating. There's a lot of psychos out there. <laughs> Three key things, guys. We are slashing prices. <laughs> we want to make cooking at home more affordable. Uh, we are killing the competition. Guys, no one else is doing what we're doing, but always remember, when you're here, have fun. <laughs> because you know what they say, if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. Uh, now this next slide is... This, this next slide is just for our uh, Japanese investors. Uh, I asked the guys over in accounting how long it would take for us to hit our next quota. Seven days. news I'm excited to share. <laughs> Guys, coming in 2018, uh, Blue Apron is partnering with Feed the Children. If you're not familiar with this wonderful organization, uh, it is a charity to help children from around the world get food and water. 10% uh, of our market sales... 
are going to be donated to Feed the Children, because uh, that's what we're supposed to do. And this is Gracie. Uh, Gracie, she's seven years old, and her and her brothers and sisters have to walk 30 miles a week to a clean drinking well just so they can get water. That should not be happening nowadays in this world. Look at her. She is a child. Look at her eyes. Just look at her. <laughs> Guys, I need to be frank with you. There is no Gracie. But if there was, she would not be that. I'm almost done. I'm so sorry. Let's just finish this up. In conclusion, if Blue Apron succeeds, we all succeed. Uh, our goal by 2020 is to have Blue Apron in every home in school. And finally, everyone looks good in a Blue Apron. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> None? <laughs> I'm fired? Sure. <laughs>